probably gonna piss off a lot of people, but I'm gonna say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl, which is ironic because she actually was a dream girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omaomi, aka Petit Diva, and in this video, we are discussing the statement that Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl. Now, there's this creator who stated that Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl, even though she acted as a dream girl in the movie Dream Girls, but she feels like Beyonce is not um, Jay-Z's dream girl, that the women that he cheated on more likely have some of the qualities that he wants in his dream girl. Probably gonna piss off a lot of people, but I'm gonna say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl, which is ironic because she actually was a dream girl. But I don't say this to knock Beyonce in any way, shape, or form. Because Beyonce is probably a lot of people's dream girl. But Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl. But Beyonce fits the image of who Jay-Z thinks that someone at his level in music as a major executive in music should be with. Because she is the queen. She is the queen-like energy. She is this regal queen-like wife that is by his side. But that's not the woman that he really wants, which is why he's, we know he's cheated on her. I mean, there's been albums about it at this point. My guess is he's probably cheating with women who are, are more his type because Beyonce is not his type. She fits the image of who he thinks that a powerful music executive should be with. Now, the creator said that um, she feels like um, Beyonce is um, Jay-Z's image girl. So she's the girl that Jay-Z feels like supposed to be by his side to make him look good as a music mogul, music executive, rapper, and um, billionaire. Anyway, a lot of people had things to say about the statement about the video. Probably going to piss off a lot of people, but I'm going to say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl. What a polite way to say that Beyonce was more attracted to Jay-Z when she was 18 and he was 30 because she was moldable and because she was impressionable. What a polite way to say that groomers are more attracted to younger people because they can make them into what they want them to be. What a polite way to say that once she stepped into her own and became Queen B, he became less interested. What a nice way to say that having a fully realize fully accepted fully evolved woman as your wife is not as attractive as having someone young and impressionable to you who will listen to everything you say and dote on your every word and worship you like a king what a nice way to say that jay-z's ego was never equipped to be with beyonce what a nice way to say that it's probably gonna piss off a lot of people but i'm gonna say it beyonce is not jay-z's dream girl which is ironic because she has Girl, I would never, ever, ever talk about any sort of celebrity relationship. That's why you never hear me say it. But I think that this actually brings up a really good point that I wanted to share with you as your fairy god brother and as a dating coach for 14 years. I want to let you know that men put women into different categories. And it's not the simplistic wifey material, not wifey material categories. There are five categories that men put women into, and I wanted to share those with you so that you understand kind of what's what, okay? So the first category is the desperate girl, and the desperate girl is all the girl that's chasing, emailing him, texting him, trying to earn his love. That's the lowest of the low, no shade. And if, if you don't know if you're this girl, if you are always initiating conversations, texts, and if the only reason that he's reaching out is because he wants something or needs something for, for you or is asking money, you're probably in the desperate girl category. That's category number one. Category number two is the good time girl. This is the girl that he hooks up with. Oftentimes, these are the girls that he doesn't want to be seen in public with. No shade, but if you're a darker skinned girl, if you're a curvier girl, and if you're a trans girl, sometimes some of these guys will try to put you in the box, so don't let them do that. The, if you want to figure out if you're this girl, if he is giving you what you do in text, or if he's messaging you after 10 p.m., or if he's taking you out on dates outside of the city center, you're probably in this category. So that's category number two, the, the good time girl. The third category is the good enough girl. This is a tricky category because he's doing like the bare minimum and things are okay. He's not mean, he's not rude, um, but he's not doing the extra things. He's not, he's getting you gifts for your birthday, he's getting you gifts for Valentine's Day, but he's not doing the small and special things to 
put you over the top to really value and cherish you. If you want to know if you're in this category, uh, you have to understand and think, am I always having to ask him to do things? And he's, is he not doing them the first time around? If not, he is. he's probably put you in the category of a good enough girl because a guy that is like in love with the entire package is going to need to hear things once and he's just going to do them. Okay. The fourth category is the dream girl category. So the difference between dream girl and the kind of good enough category is the dream girl, he loves the whole package and he's going to do the little stuff in between, the random flowers, right? He's going to take care of things without you asking him to do so. Um, the, the thing that you have to be aware of, and this is the category that you want to be in, is you want to make sure that you're not performing. A lot of girls will be in this dream girl category and he, he will want to do all of these things for you, but then you feel like, oh my God, I have to be some, some, this like curated version of myself and not my real self. Don't do that, girl. Yeah. The fifth category, and I actually think that this is the category that Jay-Z and Beyonce are in, is the out of your league category. Um, and this is where the woman comes from wealth, more education, um, has a bigger job or prestige than the guy, and he's doing everything that he can to be a part of that prestige to lift himself up. And so what happens though is after a while, if he doesn't feel like he's satisfying her needs, he will cheat or he will try to humble her in a certain kind of way to bring her down to his level and his status so he doesn't feel as inadequate. So those are the five different categories that men put women in. Um, now, quiet as it's kept, um, some people are saying, I was looking at the comments of the original poster, that Aaliyah was Jay-Z's dream girl. I don't have a fight in this battle, but please understand that if you find yourself in one of these categories that doesn't fully serve you, I can def definitely help you get out of it because there are deeper things happening that you're going to have to heal from if you want to level up. So book a call with me if you want, but I hope that this is helpful for you. It's probably going to piss off a lot of people, but I'm going to say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl, which is ironic because she has. Beyonce was Jay-Z's good enough girl. Now, if you don't know what good enough girl is, you've got to watch the stitch of this video. Another stitch of this video by our fairy godbrother, and he's telling us the five categories that men put women in. But I'll, I'll give you a little rundown, okay? So it's the desperate girl the good time girl, the good enough girl, the dream girl, and the out of your league girl. And in that stitch, he put Beyonce in the out of your league girl. And I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Okay? I really, in my hearts of hearts, believe that Beyonce was the good enough girl. The good enough girl is the girl that you settle for. And I know on the outside looking in, it's like, girl, what are you talking about? That's Beyonce. Beyonce. Beyonce, y'all. It's about like, <laughs> let me stop. Okay. It's Beyonce. Like, what are you talking about? But let me tell you something. Beyonce is a great performer. She's a queen. She gives that, you know, regal essence. But I really believe that her dynamic with Jay-Z is one that is like, like is I feel like it's so terrible. Why do y'all think Solange was messing that nigga up in the elevator? Because their dynamic is literally deplorable. And Beyonce literally the way that she was acting in the elevator is the way she acts every single time this nigga does some shit. So you cannot tell me that their dynamic is out of your league, girl, because the way Beyonce acts is just like, no, that nigga doesn't care it's like she doesn't got no she don't have no backbone when it comes to him and if y'all know if y'all look remember and look back by the time jay-z met beyonce beyonce was like at least 20 years old and jay-z had already been famous for so long so it's like you're 20 years old you're new in the game you just got out of the destiny's child you are trying to launch your solo career and this guy this uh, I don't know how much money he had then, but like this f super famous, uber famous rapper wants to be with you. Like, I don't think, <laughs> I think she let a lot of stuff slide, okay? And let me not even get into the Aaliyah story. 
Let me not even get into the Aaliyah story because I promise you, if my girl was still alive, it's a lot of things that would look very, 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 very differently. And that's not to say motherfuckers don't work hard, but I'm just saying. Because we know Jay-Z wanted Aaliyah the baddest, the worst. He wanted that girl so bad. He was so mad when he picked Dame. When she picked Dame, he was so livid. He was so mad. He was so mad. So, I know, I love Beyonce too. But Beyonce do not have no back, did not. I Maybe she, maybe she found her backbone. But she did not have a backbone for a long time when it came to that man. She was the good enough girl. He, She was the one he said it for. It's probably going to piss off a lot of people, but I'm going to say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl, which is ironic. because she. Nah, but can we take a second to actually talk about this? A lot of guys do this. They don't normally wind up with the love of their lives. Especially like super successful men. They go for the woman who makes the most sense. They could love someone to like the depths of their soul. But if it doesn't make sense on paper, they probably won't go with the girl that they actually love. Not saying that they won't love this other woman or care for her. But they're using her to fit a certain image. And this is why they probably are searching for the love of their life and other people when they cheat on the woman they chose that looked good on paper. Probably gonna piss off a lot of people, but I'm gonna say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl. Which is um, um, white girl, I agree 100%. Y'all can finish listening to it towards this, but I agree a hundred percent. I never really thought that, like, for real, for real, Mr. Carter really, really liked her. I felt like at the end of the day, you know, Miss Hit 'em Up Style was technically supposed to have been in that mix. Then I thought, of course, it was about the princess in the sky, you know, Aaliyah. Like, I, to be honest, I'm right there with you because I never really thought Mr. Carter really liked her. I just felt like he knew, uh, why not? The aesthetics. Makes sense to me. And then thirdly, um, that chocolate heifer that was in the group of the children that had a destiny, um, had her husband not only turn around and bust a you, but he was smiling. Did y'all see that moment in time back in the day when Miss Roland of the chocolate, you know, came through and he posed? fell into her arms with all the glee in his eyes i've never seen him look at me like that i'm never i'm never the, i keep telling you better get you a chocolate one but besides the damn fact white girl I'm, I'm right there with you i'm right there with you makes sense to me it's probably gonna piss off a lot of people but i'm gonna say it beyonce is not jay-z's dream girl which is ironic because she she's not absolutely wrong jay-z was too old for beyonce but beyonce was the it girl and Jay-Z ain't stupid. Now, Jay-Z is selfish, not proclaimed by me, but by a lot of people who's around him. Even Kanye specifically said, well, you know, Jay-Z, he's really selfish. And it's not all bad to be selfish in a relationship, but I'm saying that to say he wanted Beyonce so nobody else can have her. So he can have the queen so that he can say that he has the queen and that everybody knows the queen is his. And like all men who have good girls, and fine ass girls do when they've had it for so long sometimes they disregard the value it's probably gonna piss off a lot of people but i'm gonna say it beyonce is not jay-z's dream girl oh my god y'all gotta go watch the full video for context but a lot of men do this she's not saying that beyonce is not jay-z's type as in she's not attractive but basically jay-z likes a different type of woman but beyonce fits the image of who he feels like he should be dating as a music exec executive. Y'all don't know how many men I know personally who have missed out on the love of their life because she didn't fit the image of what society deems beautiful or attractive or the type of woman that they should have. Have you ever seen a group of men and all of their girlfriends look alike? 
because a lot of times the alpha male in that friend group sets the tone of the type of woman that's acceptable amongst the group. Beauty truly is subjective. Men are really attracted to all types of women. They find beauty in all types of women. But due to society, and it's really the society that they've created, they're not able to express that freely because they're afraid that the type of woman that they choose won't be accepted amongst men. Okay? What's your woman if everybody doesn't look at her and want her? So you've got a lot of men out here who end up in marriages where they're bored or they're confused. They end up cheating, they end up getting divorced because really they chose the woman based on what she looked like on paper versus what they felt here as far as energy, vibes, even what they were physically attracted to. They chose different because of what they felt society thought they should choose. So I just thought that was interesting and like crazy. Like, it really takes a brave man to choose the woman that he truly desires if that does not align with the societal norms. I mean, you'll have people look at men in relationships and they're happy as can be, and people will pick apart why he's with that woman. But he may genuinely love her and be attracted to her. It's just really something interesting to look at. What do you guys think? Comment below. It's probably going to piss off a lot of people, but I'm going to say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl, which is ironic because she has to the rain. But anyway, she's not wrong. A lot of men, there could be women out there that do this, but there's a lot of men who will marry the woman that other men feel that that man should marry. If that makes sense. Did I say it correctly? I hope so. Like, they could be in love with some other person person but if that's not who their family or their boys think they should marry just based off the status that they have they're not going to marry her they're secretly going to like her lust after her um that brings in the madonna whore complex like read into this you know this is not me bashing on men but studies have shown this like i just think it's very interesting to read about so Sorry, B, but... It's probably going to piss off a lot of people, but I'm going to say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl, which is ironic because she has... No. I don't think a lot of y'all remember uh, when they got together and who that man was with before. She was his dream girl. You know why? Because she was a girl. And he was a grown-ass man men like him want little girls that they can groom and manipulate there is no dream woman whatever for men like them they just want to keep fucking grooming and taking advantage of uh fucking um young girls point blank not because he saw her somebody on his level she was not this crazy business mogul back then she was a young girl girl catch me it's probably gonna piss off a lot of people but i'm gonna say it beyonce is not jay-z's dream girl who who told you that you all don't know these people you don't know these people they are strangers on the internet they're as accessible to you as an idea and a concept that you'll never touch you don't know them. It's probably going to piss off a lot of people, but I'm going to say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl, which is ironic because she... So she goes on to say that she feels like Jay-Z's dream girl are the women that he cheats with. Like, that's his type. I think women need to wake up to the fact that a lot of men, especially men who came from nothing, don't have a dream girl. Okay. They didn't dream of a wife. They didn't dream of marriage. I don't think Jay-Z has a dream girl. I definitely don't think that the women that he cheats with are his dream girl. Like, I don't think that. Or even his type. I don't think he necessarily has. He might have a type that turns him on. But that would be the most. You would even say to that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... 
y'all have to understand that a lot of men, especially these men who cheat around with good women, they don't respect women. Like, none of them. <laughs> like, none of them. Type or not, no type. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he came from the hood. Like, he wasn't dreaming of, of girls, of wives, of marriage and rings and, and, and cooked dinner. He was, you know, dreaming of money, success, power, control. And that's what women are for him, you know? And that's why he cheats. And he cheats with women who he can control. And I mean... Not he might be attracted to I don't but, yeah not like cheating is just it's another power trip it's just a power trip and I think that's that's more about what it is for him I don't think women there's any woman that he would have been faithful to dream girl or not like you know there's no woman there's no world <laughs> Where he would have the beginning that he had, the origin story that he had, and be like, I'm going to be a faithful man. Like, that's not that's not everybody's story. Um, so, yeah, you have to realize when you're dealing with that type of person. Because they can be manipulative. Because I feel like if he is, she you know, Beyonce or whatever. And she, he doesn't have a type, but he understands that she brings value to his image and to his brand and to his business and to his life. But when it comes to individually, like, I die for you off of the fact that I know who you are and I love who you are off of that simple fact. Or once you stop serving me, like, I'm still going to love you type energy. That's not there. Be for real. It's probably going to piss off a lot of people, but I'm going to say it. Beyonce is not Jay-Z's dream girl, which is ironic because she has So I once had a friend make the observation that Beyonce is the girl that married, is the sheltered suburban girl that married the non-sheltered guy from the hood and that he... The reason why he treats her the way that he treats her, he's very street smart, so he knows not to publicly do anything or say anything, but behind closed doors, he sees her as very naive and the type of naive that comes from living a sheltered life. And if you really think about it, she was pretty sheltered growing up. I mean, her dad, you know, was like, had her and uh the rest of destiny's child in like a boot camp for like the longest time um well like a makeshift boot camp basically and it is why she is the way that she is you know and i'm not discrediting her in any way she is who she is and she's a she's a boss she's amazing she's gorgeous uh i just i remember her saying that and just being like damn because if you like we'll never really know what their dynamic is like the public will never really know we can only ever speculate um but yeah ever since she my friend made that observation i just can't unsee it um and i'm not a doctor i'm not a psychologist i don't know these people <laughs> um and I in no way actually believe Beyonce is naive or uh, easy to fool in any way. But I could definitely see how somebody could take advantage of her and her background and the fact that she has so many people behind her, hust like constantly getting her to hustle and pushing her. And even if she's having a hard time, they still believe in her and they still have faith in her and they constantly push her. Um, that's very appealing to especially men who men or women who could be manipulative and want to take advantage of that. Um, they would definitely want those sort of powerhouse people. And then once Beyonce grew into who she is now, obviously he'd want to keep her because you know, you are your environment. If she never had anyone ever give up on her, 
she's never going to give up on anyone and she's never going to give up on herself. And that's one of the biggest keys to being successful. Um, so yeah, I, I almost kind of, I don't want to say I agree with my friend. I definitely understand where the girl who I'm stitching is coming from. Definitely go back and watch her shit, but you can't unsee it. Like, I feel like he takes advantage of her powerhouse, basically. As you can see, quite a lot of people actually agreed with the statement that the creator made. And uh, um, I somewhat agree with some of the things they said. Also, a lot of people left comments in some of these videos. And a lot of people might mention Aliyah and Blue Cantrell. So is that bad that the search term, the search title um, that is under the video of the original creator is actually showing Blue Cantrell. So if you click on it, you're supposed to see uh, videos of Blue Cantrell. Now, here are my thoughts about the whole situation. Now, previously, I didn't know about the age gap between Beyonce and Jay-Z or when they started dating until the whole Cassie and Didi um, issue blew up and people were now um, trying to compare and I was like, whoa, whoa, what? 18 and 30 something? I, I, I was not comfortable with that. I was not comfortable with um, what I learned about the whole age gap and the dynamics that um, their relationship started with. Um, for me, what I would say is that I feel like Jay-Z approached Beyonce because she was young, naive, on the rise, and um, Beyonce was eager for success. She was ready to work. She was back to back. She was ready to give it to get that stardom that she wanted. And I feel like he took advantage of the fact that she was also... Um, sheltered especially by her parents and he wanted her because of she was moldable as she was young and naive so he was able to like control a bit of it he was able to control a lot of what she was doing i feel like she was practically a baby when they started she was inexperienced and he had a lot of experience in a lot of things it was literally from the hood and she she was not really like from the hood her parents were like dead there and they were doing stuff so she was sheltered and he came along and uh wanted her by his side because definitely he knew she was going to do great things and she was already like gaining momentum at that time now for beyonce i feel like she's like I said, she was young, naive. She was also, she's also, she's also an introvert and she really doesn't allow a lot of people to come into her circle. So once she has um, allowed some set of people to um, come into her circle, she likes to keep it tight. So she's loyal and she really like focuses all her energy on uh, music, business, performance and the rest and maybe her children. And I feel like, when jay-z stepped out it was at the point where she started to find herself she started to gain strength she's no more uh, like taking some of the things he was doing so maybe she was not as moldable as when they first met and when they first started their relationship so that kind of made him like maybe feel a particular kind of way and then he stepped out now um like i said she's loyal so um even though he might step out in the future, I don't know, she might not really leave him because everybody was like kind of confused when they found out that, okay, it seems like this man stepped out. And so why is the whole Beyonce staying with him and everything? It's just because she's loyal. Like I said, she keeps a circle small and she doesn't allow people to come into a circle like that. So once somebody comes into a circle, it is very hard for her to like pull back from that person. And, and that, um, keeping a circle small, not allowing people into her personal business is one of the things where people have, have kind of, um, said that she's not really like a, a good influencer. She has the star power of a celebrity, but she's not like, um, an influencer like Kim K. So I think, and that was one of the things that people, um, said that she needs to like work on that 
um try to like have that interaction but she's not that kind of person she doesn't really want people in her business one day i saw a video of her unboxing a perfume or something and it felt awkward she was she you would know that this lady does not really know how to do this influencing thing she was just doing it for the motion because she had to promote her business um like i said um jay-z probably got together with her because she was the it girl and she fits his image and she was naive and young and easily controlled or moldable and now she's getting to um she's past i think she's past 40 and i think she has been bolder over the years she's been doing a lot of bold choice things and making a lot of bold choices so he doesn't have that i feel like he doesn't have that control over her again as much control as he used to have what probably is making her stay or something is just image her children and like i said the fact that she doesn't want to bring another person into her circle and she likes to hold on to people um but like i said that girl ain't going anywhere the only time that i think that she might say okay enough is enough is if he does something unforgivable so if there's something like um maybe messes around with an underage person or something diabolical then she'll be like okay it's enough i'm out of here um let's go our separate ways but for now nothing nothing if you like say she's not his dream girl uh say this um that she's this thing by a man so um that's my thoughts about the whole situation and uh their dynamics i don't know what you guys think about it do you think what the creator said is true do you think people's opinion about the whole dynamics between jay-z and beyonce is actually true do you have any contrary opinion um i would love to hear your thoughts about this whole discussion so please leave your comments in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you need to find anytime i upload videos now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye